This is the story of Mary B. Mullen, a visionary missionary. On April 23rd, 1867, in the coal mining town of Apollo, Pennsylvania, a baby girl was born to John and Mary Mullen. They named the child Mary B. Mullen. Mary B. Mullen's father, John, had come from England. He settled in Western Pennsylvania. And in June of 1861, he enlisted in the Union Army, fought in the war, was a prisoner of war. After the war, he came back to Pennsylvania where he met Mary Martha Cobb Truxall, who then was a widow because her husband, Josiah Carr Truxall, had died during the Civil War. After they married, Mary became the half-sister to Anna and Harvey Truxall, who were Mary Martha's first kids by her husband, Josiah. The family lived in the Pennsylvania region, where now John Mullen continued his occupation as a coal miner. Coal mining is hard work. He had more children with Mary Martha. They had a son, John Jr., Charles, and Jesse. And then in 1886, John Mullen entered the disabled soldier's home and would remain there until his death in 1892 from liver cancer. Mary B. Mullen would go on to do mission work in the country of West Africa in Sierra Leone under the auspices of the Brethren Church. On June 4, 1898, amid the hut tax wars against Britain, she barely escapes with her life as she and five other missionaries survive a massacre that kills seven other members of their team. Mary B. Mullen returns to the United States and becomes involved with the Christian Missionary Alliance, first through the Lovejoy Missionary Institute in Mill Spring, South Carolina, where as a superintendent she is so effective that they then start a preparatory school in Air, North Carolina, which late, later becomes Lake Lore, North Carolina. This school is then renamed the Mary B. Mullen Bible School. The Mary B. Mullen Bible School educates African-American children and adults in Bible it works hand in hand with the St. John's Missionary Baptist Church in the community. In 1908, Mary B. Mullen marries Dyson Meminger Hinch, a United Brethren minister. To their union is born Ruth Hinch. Dyson dies only five years after they are married. Later, upon the death of Mary B. Mullen, her work at the Mary B. Mullen School continues on. The school continues and later is the site of many camp meetings and revivals, some of them led by the Reverend Charles Williams, who is a liaison for the African American community with the Christian Missionary Alliance. In the 1990s, after the Mary B. Mullen Bible Camp has fallen, fallen into disrepair, Reverend Charles Williams 
is encouraged to revive the campground with the promise that the Christian Missionary Alliance will turn the campground over to the St. John's Missionary Baptist Church. Reverend Mark Cooper from Philadelphia meets with Reverend Waters and the board of the Mullen Camp. At that time, in 1994, Solid Rock Outreach partners with the Mary B. Mullen board and a team is brought in to clear away the brush and trees that have overgrown many of the buildings. One of the main efforts of Reverend Cooper is not only to have camp, but to start preserving many of the buildings that have fallen in disrepair. A roof has to be put on a new building and a roof on a dormitory building to preserve them. But the main thing is that campers finally come to camp and it is a great experience for many children who have never been into the mountains just to learn about the Lord and it is a great partnership city children coming down meeting farmers in a southern town and sharing a life experience in 2005 a new energetic Mullen board came on staff under President Yvonne Gordon. Their work has been tireless in taking the Mary B. Mullen Bible Camp to the next level. Well over 300 plus students have come in for the past couple years between 2005 and the 104th anniversary of the Mary B. Mullen Bible Camp in 2010. Their work ensures that the legacy and the memory and the efforts of Mary B. Mullen in this community will remain intact and continue on into the future where people will come to this campground, meet the Lord, have a life-changing experience, encounter people who not only love people but love God. Mary B. Mullen, a visionary missionary whose legacy lives on in the Lake Lore area at the site of the Mary B. Mullen Bible School campground.